So today I'll be sharing with you guys how I went from an engineering career to a data analyst career without spending a single dime and without going back to school. Now, if this video sounds interesting to you, go ahead and keep watching. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Chidima and if you are returning, subscriber welcome to my channel i'm a nigerian based in the uk and i make videos about tech and lifestyle content as well so guys how did i go from an engineering career to a data analyst career in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my journey and my story of how i was able to achieve this and i'll be sharing as well tips and resources i'll be sharing with you some links to courses that really 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 helped me in my journey if this video sounds interesting to you keep watching um, one of the reasons I'm making this video is to, to maybe inspire someone looking to start their journey in tech to get started but before I jump into the video just some things I need to say um, I'll be putting some timestamps in the video so you can just skip ahead to the section of the video that you want to watch okay so jumping into my story how did i get started so i was in the university studying electronics and electrical engineering i found it interesting um it wasn't that i did not enjoy it but i knew tech was what i wanted to do and the industry i really really wanted to get into i had a lot of friends that were coding or programming in some sort of way and i always wanted to be like them even though I was doing well in my academics, I felt like a part of me was missing. I wanted to get into tech so badly. I would start programming and I would stop, you know, start and stop. Is there anyone like this? Don't worry, trust me, I've been there. While I was preparing for my final year project, I joined a course in school then. It was a data science course that the society was doing. And I decided to join them. You know, I'd gotten to that point. I knew I was leaving school and, you know, I was going to face the harsh realities of life. And I said, okay, this is the time I have to start without stopping or any of that. I decided to register for that course. I can't remember now. I think I paid a token of maybe 3000 or 2000 I think it ran for like four weeks or so. This was alongside my final year project while I was doing my final year project. Just before I came out of school, I saw this advert from Audacity, learn how to program. And if you passed that first stage of learning how to program, you would advance to obtaining a nano degree in data analytics from Audacity. And um, I found that interesting. I jumped on it. The first part of the course, it wasn't stressful. It was just um, introducing you, um, introducing me rather to programming learning the basic concepts, programming functions, classes, and all of that stuff. It wasn't serious. The major criteria to advance to the nano degree was attendance. You had to come online every day and keep up to date of what you've been doing. That was pretty easy for me. It was around the time I was doing my final exams. And so it was quite easy for me to, even if I didn't do anything that day, <laughs> sorry. I always had an object to drop. That was a, that was the criteria for that round, and um, I finished that round. I think in December of 2019, and by March 2020, I had gotten in. You know, I got the email saying that I had gotten into the nano degree that was going to run for six months. I was so excited, and so that was how I was able to get a certificate as a data analyst. Along the line as well, I also took some courses on Excel. For the Audacity course, um, getting a nano degree from Audacity is not free, but I was able to get it for free because, like I said, um, they were running um, an initial program, which was free. And then if you pass that stage, you get a free nano degree certification, okay? So I'll be leaving all the links to all of this down below. And you just keep your eye out for whenever they're running these scholarships, they, they always do it. So anytime they're running these scholarships as well, you can keep an eye on my Instagram. I will be updating um, such information as well on my Instagram as soon as I see it. Okay. Now I'm going to be telling you what it means to be a data analyst. 
before you become a data analyst there are some skill sets that you have to have and even if you don't have it because i hear a lot of things out there i know you could learn these skills okay don't worry you can learn them so the first skill you're going to learn is having an analytical mindset yes that is the first skill you need to learn you need to be able to look at figures and come up with an explanation of what those figures mean so being analytical means applying logical reasoning to find out more about what something means as simple as that it means you have to be able to ask good business questions okay so some of the skills as well that you need to have as a data analyst is to be able to interpret numbers okay you need to be able to help people interact with their data in a fun way so you present this information to them that they're able to drive insight from them and to help people understand and see trends in their data in a fun and interactive way okay something else that makes you a good data analyst is you have to be ready to up your skill and keep learning because we generate data in the world every day trillions and trillions of data every day and so you have to make sure that you're up to date with the most effective way to manage your data and analyze your data so this is because data is being generated in various formats right now we have um, data in form of videos we have data in form of audios um, pictures also we also have data as a combination of all of these and so it's really really important that you keep learning and you stay on top of your game in how to best to analyze this data okay okay so for tools that you would need to analyze your data there are different tools that you can use to analyze both big data and small data but i'm just going to be general here so i'm to confuse you because i am assuming that anyone watching this video is a beginner or someone wanting to break into tech and i don't want to make that too complex okay so for now as a beginner the skills you need to learn or rather the tools you need to learn how to use number one i would say excel this is because i believe it's free for most laptops or computers for macbooks i know you have to pay for them right but for windows i know you can get it for free on your laptop and so first tool i would always recommend is excel i'm going to leave a lot of courses like in my description box where a lot of free excel courses that you can take okay so don't worry and i would also tell you to learn is python yes it's a programming language but it's a really really good programming language to help you analyze your data as another skill you need to learn is sql right so sql is really good because it helps you present your data in a structured format in a tab tabular format you'll be able to query your data as well large amount of data so sql is it's not really a programming language but it's a, it's a really good um querying language that you need to learn if you're going to be going into data analytics okay once again it's not difficult i'm going to be leaving all of these in my description box okay so what did i use at the beginning of my journey what i used at the beginning of my journey was sql and python it was after some time i learned excel okay so but now that i know better right that is why i'm saying start with excel but at the beginning of my journey i made use of sql and python initially and really that was because um the job i got immediately after i finished my course that was what it required me to use okay but then after i left that job the second job i got required me to use excel so you see what i'm saying so sometimes the job you get determines the tools or the skills that you really really need to get good at but if you're beginning your journey it's always good to have these basics out of the way because you don't know where you're going to be going to write and you want to be able to meet the qualifications as much as possible all right so we also have some other languages that would be useful right in data analytics we have r and many more but don't despair just you just need to master one you just need to learn one and like i said just learn python so what do you do after you're done with these courses right what do you do the first thing you need to do is to update your cv you need to update your cv and put the relevant um experiences you have where you have your work experience now 
keep in mind if you have not gotten a job yet as a data analyst it's okay just put your project that you did maybe during your nano degree or doing um any of your projects that you worked on in one of the courses that you um that you mu you must have done just put the projects there as relevant experiences now if you've worked in other sectors or other roles before this you might want to put those as well so that um your future em employers would be able to see your you know your job history and be able to know that okay you're not just a beginner or something like that but it doesn't matter if you've not worked before just put your relevant projects as your work experience okay now the second thing i'm going to say is you need to update your linkedin you need to put that you're a data analyst i know you've not started working as a data analyst yet but update your linkedin and put open to work so that recruiters will be able to recognize you as someone that is ready to work as a data analyst okay and something that a bonus tip that i know i've seen people do that i didn't really do was to post on twitter you could post on twitter and let people know that you you've just completed a course and you you are open to opportunities to work as a data analyst trust me i've seen a lot of people get multiple offers just by doing that on twitter yeah so that's that's also something that you might want to do as soon as you're done with your course okay all right so in conclusion being a data analyst is a very very important role because you'll be able to see how businesses make their decisions you'll be able to help businesses make their decisions by you know showing them trends and insights in their data and that is really really powerful and really really important for businesses so it's a really important role to get into it's also a role right now that is in high demand and so you you're in a very good spot all right and like i tell people it's one of the i wouldn't say easiest but it's one it's easy to get into a data analyst career than core programming career okay because not a lot of people love coding and as a data analyst you don't get to code that much right you just do your exploratory analysis right and explanatory analysis but as a software engineer you have to really really learn core programming and that's why i tell people that it's kind of easier to get into a data analytics career okay now if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel please support me and also don't forget to leave a comment i'll be reading your comments and i'll be there to help you guys in whatever way i can if you have any questions for me all right so see you later in my next video bye